oh that makes sense like i'm gonna need my my complexion to get into formation because this is not okay and this is that so Letitia and to all of my new viewers supporters subscribers welcome guys thank you so much for clicking on this video I hope you enjoy the content and to all of my returning viewers supporters subscribers welcome back guys as always it is a pleasure to see you without further ado let's jump into this video so of course of course of course we are going to do our makeup honestly i don't see myself using anything but this if you guys are looking for a new primer she's not here at least not yet so let's go you already know the danessa myricks yummy skin water powder primer this is my holy grail okay the date that I just went on, I was able to pull off being in the heat. I want to say I left home at about three. No, it was about two in the afternoon. We're old, okay? We tried to maximize daylight. But <laughs> um, I left home at about two ish in the afternoon. And I, of course, use the Yummy Skin Water Serum. And when I tell you, we went to multiple places. I was in multiple Ubers. We were on multiple sides of town. It's, it's nothing like it. It is nothing like it. That day we were still dealing with the heat wave. So it, I wanna say at about maybe 10 o'clock that night, Yes, we were still out. It The temperature had got down to about 110-ish. And when we started out, it was well into the 110s. So I'm speaking like 115 degrees. This is Nevada. There is absolutely no shade, not even under the palm trees. The only shade you are going to find is the shade that you get from the casinos when you give the slots all your money and they give you nothing in return. This along with the blurring balm, I was sweating everywhere else. I even had sweat like pouring from my hair, my dress, my back. I was drenched. I had a ball, but I was sweating. When I tell you by the time we actually did make it home and my face was still beat, my face did not skip a step. I'm like, oh yeah, this this is this is me and her for life. And the fact that I did not have to keep going in the restroom, reapplying powder and blotting tissue and all of that, I was actually able to be present and not have to worry about my makeup creasing budging smearing or ultimately any oil that was amazing that made the day even that much more better because i wasn't spending half the time looking in my mirror to see if i needed to reapply makeup or excuse myself to go and reapply makeup so girlies i'm just saying you need this you need this that is something about me when there's something that I genuinely love, you guys will know about it because <laughs> you will almost see it in every video. I mean, it is what it is. And now I'm just applying some Fenty Beauty Matchstick in shade Pumpkin for my color corrector. And I'm going to use Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Nutmeg. I use this to set the color correct just so we are not having any sort of orange to show up through our foundation 
this is a great way to set the color correct and then also if you are a oily person you can use this as i've learned before watching several beauty gurus you can use this as a means to actually help combat oil to show up through your foundation and since this is pretty much me shopping my stash i'm going to use the born this way undetectable medium to full coverage foundation by Too Faced and the shade that I use is Chai. And I'm just applying it using my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. So now I'm going to use concealer. This is by Danessa Myricks. This is Lift and Flex Concealer, also from the Yummy Skin line. And the shade that I use in this one is 13. And also I'm going to use Tower 28. This is a serum concealer. And the shade I use in this, oh my gosh, so it's always super tiny on here so it will always be down here somewhere for you guys then this should also help brighten it up I remember going to Sephora to be color matched one day and the associate was color matching me in NARS so she color matched my face and got Macau. She color matched my neck and got Carcass. And she's like, okay, do you want to match with your face or do you want to match with your neck? I was like, girl, look, give me Macau. But that was also because it was in the winter. So I wasn't wearing like low cut shirts. I was wearing sweaters, but that just goes to show that there is a difference and i mean it's not unique to me we a lot of us deal with it especially if you're melanated like god bless you if you are just one shade if you just have one tone to your complexion i love that for you and now using a damp beauty blender just going to begin to blend in the concealers And since we will be using a powder blush, I'm going to begin applying my setting powder for the concealers. I am going to be using by Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Peach. I remember seeing this actual container and was shook. I'm like, how was one supposed to use all that powder? I mean, oh my goodness, this container will last your lifetime. That is literally how much powder is in here. Now I'm going to apply using the same damp beauty sponge, but I like this powder. I mean, at one point I was, it was me and this powder, of course, until I came along Laura Mercier. And then after Laura Mercier, when I laid eyes on to Huda Beauty, that was it. Like, do you guys have any particular brands that, for one thing, you go to that brand, it may be a setting spray, it may be a skin tint, it may be foundation, a primer, but for me, I do have certain brands that are just like my everything when it comes to certain things like I can find them in the dark and not even have to second guess what it is that I'm using for a particular day a particular look a particular mood particular temperature like oh my goodness a 
especially when I was baking. You see how big this is? Just knock some right in the cap and just get the going. It would just be powder everywhere. And for bronzers, I'm going to use by NYX Cosmetics. This is the Buttermilk Bronzer in Dew Butter. Going to apply using my Sephora Pro Bronzer Brush number 80. And now for blush, I will be applying Minted Beauty or Minted Cosmetics blush and clay too much. This is what it looks like here. I am excited. Just a few days ago on social media, I saw where the founder was talking about a relaunch. So needed. I was so upset when there was talks of the brand basically dissolving or just kind of being done. And I'm like, since when we need this brand? It is perfect for people of color. I admire the concept. The products are perfect. They are perfectly tailored towards those of us who have melanated skin. It was one of the first lines where I actually found a pink that I was comfortable wearing and not having to do a whole lot to actually get it to look correct on me. So I am here for it. I cannot wait. Like, give us the goods. Hopefully it's in time for fall and you guys better support because their brand is amazing. Simply amazing. Let me just do this here. Okay, so now we're going to move on to eyeshadow. I do have an event coming up soon. It's kind of like a family reunion, so to speak, um, simply because I have not seen my some of my family members in a few years, especially since our move. So I don't know. Let's see what I can pull together that I can actually wear for that event. And I'm really looking forward to it. I have not seen majority of my siblings in years, honestly, since the pandemic, since the panini, since that whole bit. I have not seen so many of them. So for this eye look, I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Fall Romance Palette. If you forgot what it looks like, here we go. This is what she looks like. So yeah, I am, I'm excited to see all of these peeps that I haven't seen in a while. I'm going to first go in with Crimson, which is this shade here applying it using my Morphe M504 brush. Then I get to travel back home. That's gonna be fun. I look for any excuse, well, almost any excuse to go back home. Yeah, sign me up. since the event is going to be at night. Of course, we want to go a little bit heavy on the actual look. I don't really think this palette got the airplay that it could have gotten. I'm not even quite sure why, but it just, it just seemed like we were all here for Divine, which is the purple shade. And then after Divine, it just kind of got put to the side. And 
then I'm going to take a less dense brush. This is the Makeup Shack T64. I'm going to apply leather, this shade here. I'm just gonna use that to kind of diffuse out the top portion of where we apply crimson. Let's do, first let's do Mulberry, this shade here. I'm going to use the same M504. Hmm, cute. And definitely bring it to the back V for a little bit more depth so that crim yeah so that crimson isn't looking so one dimensional and now I'm going to take the shade here which is midnight apply that using a Morphe M224 We're going to lay that on top. Maybe if I spray it, it'll give us better payoff. So I just sprayed it using some set and spray. That's it. That's the one. And then I think what I'm going to apply, let's use a Moonlight, which is this one here. And I'm going to apply using a Morphe M222 brush. Alright, so I'm going to line my eyes using a black liner by Hulse Labs. This one is Black Onyx Matte. States it is a optic intensity eco eyeliner. Let's see. And now for shadow on my lower lash line or right below it, I'm going to first use Midnight, the shade here. And I'm going to apply it using a Eco Tools, uh, what is this? This is a Define brush. This is why I like revisiting makeup and not just for the sake of my channel, but some stuff is kind of like watching a good movie. You watch the movie one time and you think you just figured it out. 
and then you go back and you notice that there are certain things that you didn't catch the first time around especially if it's like a good mystery movie something that has a lot of little hidden gems in it and a lot of them you tend to overlook that first go around so then when you watch it again and you think oh i know it all or i know that's gonna happen and you're like sis when when did that happen because you didn't catch it the first time that's what this is giving me right now because midnight is gorgeous oh wow and this has been sitting in my makeup case for months i haven't even touched it that's why i like doing these type of videos where you shop your stash because now you're seeing all of the stuff that you looked over or all of the stuff that you used for one video thinking okay i used it in that video that's it that's all and then when you use it again you are surprised like how did i miss this why did i not use it this way the first time like it's okay to you know purchase new stuff or you know have favorites that you just revisit over and over again but for the sake of these purchases like this stuff isn't cheap you know you've got to get your money's worth out of it find new ways to use it this is actually looking cute okay so moving on to our lips i am actually going to I don't know, I'm gonna see how I'm feeling about color. So for the first lip look I'm gonna try, this one is going to be a nude kind of toned down look to just allow the eyes to pop instead of both. And the lip liner I'm going to use, this is by Makeup Forever. It's in the shade Wherever Walnut. And then on top of that, I'm going to use one of my favorite nude lip glosses. This is by ColourPop and it's in the shade, I believe this is Major Throwback. So this is the first lip look. I kind of like this one actually, but I just don't know how well it's going to translate into a late night party where it's not going to be bright it's going to be very dim very dark possibly but i like this i feel like it complements it well especially if this was like for early evening maybe afternoon into early evening before it gets dark so this is the first one what do you guys think yes no in the comment box, make sure you let me know which lippy you would wear with this look. You guys have to help me. You have to help me choose my lippy. So again, this is one. For the second lip look, this one is more deep and more sultry, kind of late night party appropriate. I'm going to actually line my lips using the MAC Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills and Trust Issues. If y'all like this look right now, this is on Sephora's website for $10, $10. I would, I would jump on it. This is a very pretty deep rose, cool toned lippy. And I know some of you are probably like, why are you lining your lips with lipstick? Have you not heard? When you put on a Anastasia liquid matte lipstick and it sets, it does not move. It does not move. No matter if you eat, drink, kiss, sweat, it doesn't move, at least not for me. And now to fill it in, I'm going to use by Charlotte Tilbury. This is Rose to Fame. The 
this one is really cute too. Guys, y'all have to help me decide. I don't know which one to wear. This one is really cute. This is two. What do we think? I'm liking this look. I feel like it is definitely um, going to be appropriate for my upcoming family's event where I am super excited to see everybody that I haven't seen, oh my, in about four years. Whoa awfully long time to have not seen family but when you're like almost 2,000 miles away either nobody flies or it's too far to drive or schedules all of the things but yeah so I'm excited now again you guys have to help me pick a lip it's either lip one or lip two let me know and in the description box below there is going to be a list of all products used to achieve this look guys be well stay safe exercise self-care it is not a privilege but a necessity check on your strong friends after you check in with yourself and until next time we shall chat again soon